What's going on guys, Opulent Vision, and today, I'm guessing you got a new cube or you're wanting to set up a cube for the first time. This is gonna be the perfect tutorial to set up your cube to get it to its maximum potential. Before we start, there's a couple things you're gonna need, which I'm guessing you have, so no biggie if you don't, but these things will help us get the cube perfectly. So first off, you're gonna have your new cube. I've just got the RS3M V5 here. So I've had this cube for a while, so it does need set up again. So obviously your cube. Next, some sort of dry rag, um, an emphasis on dry. And then next, you're gonna need some lubricants. This is the sampler from Speed Cube Shop. It's just got these like little containers. It's not bad for the price. It's like 10 bucks and these lubes last forever. So go ahead, get yourself some lube if you don't have any already. Final thing you're gonna need is the box that came with the cube. And on the inside of these, usually there's a screwdriver, but in my case, it looks like I already took mine out. So let me go get a screwdriver quick. All right, so now I've got the screwdriver. This should be in your accessory box. If your cube came with something different, you'll have to refer to a different tutorial for cubes such as a GAN or some other maglev type of cube. But in this case, this screwdriver will work perfectly fine. One last thing that I highly recommend is being on some sort of table, not carpet, not anything that could potentially get dirt in your cube. It's very important to keep the inside of your cube clean. So that's why we're using a nice, hard, cleaned off surface. So let's go ahead and get this all off the screen and start with step number one, the disassembly of the cube. I've got this nice little plate. It's clean, I promise you. I've just got marks in the plastic, but I'm gonna take this cube apart and make sure to keep the pieces off of any dirty surface. So you can go ahead by turning the cube 45 degrees, pulling the corners away from the center, grabbing that edge piece, and then kind of rotating and pulling out at the same time, and it should pop right out. Let's go ahead and do that for all of the pieces. And I'm just gonna put this to the side real quick. So now that you've got the core together, it's very important that we need to wipe this down. A lot of cubes from factory will come with some sort of lube or grease already on it, as you can kind of see with mine here, or they'll be pretty dusty from just being in a box, being in a facility. So we're gonna take our nice clean rag and just clean off all of the pieces very thoroughly. No need to rush this process but just make sure you get all of the core pieces cleaned up and then clean up all of the other pieces. And make sure when you're wiping the corner pieces to be very careful of this torpedo bit. These are very fragile and if it breaks off, you'll have to wait a long time for a new one to come in the mail. So just be very cautious not to get that broken. All right, and now that we have all of that wiped off, we can take the center pieces off of the core. And then you're gonna be left with something like this, which can look pretty frightening at first, but I promise me it's not too bad. So from the factory, a lot of the time, these are tensioned equally on all sides with the screws, meaning if you pull two centers apart, there shouldn't be a gap like there is in mine. See how this piece pulls farther than the other side? That is not good. So if you have a case like this, you're gonna go ahead, take your screwdriver, put it in the piece, and then just tighten it until they're about the same. And as you can see here, we're having another case where my washer is offset, so the piece can't pull out as far, so just make sure your washers are completely aligned, that way you can see how far it actually pulls. So that looks pretty even to me. Next thing we're gonna do, make sure all of the sides are just about the same, perfect, and then we can start reassembling the cube. Now, it's very important here, before you pause the video and fast forward, make sure that you're putting the pieces on in the correct order and assemble everything but the top nine pieces. So now, if you made it to this point, you should have something left that looks pretty similar to this. I started with blue on the bottom. No big deal if you choose another color, but the next thing we're gonna do is pick our lubes. So this is a pretty tedious process if it's your first time doing it. A lot of people don't know what they're looking for in a lube, but the two lubes we need to find is first a heavier lube and then second, a more slick lube. 
If you don't know what you're looking for, a lot of the time you can tilt the container and just see how slowly it drips down from the side. So you can kind of see again, this one takes a really long time to kind of equal out the liquid. So this is gonna be a heavier lube. I'm gonna be using Speed Cube Shop Nebula for the core. And then after finding one that drains more quickly like this one, you can just see one more time. This is a very slick, basic lube. So this is Speed Cube Shop Martian, if you're looking for them. And these are the two lubes that I use the most, Nebula and Martian. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our heavier lube, Nebula, unscrew the cap, and we're gonna have a little dropper just like this that we're gonna take and we're gonna drop two drops on this interior torpedo, as you see me doing here. One, two, flip it 180 degrees and do one drop on the opposing side. And there we go. So before we go on, a lot of people kind of freak out. Why are you using a heavier lube for the inside? This isn't gonna affect how quickly it turns quite as much. Using a heavier lube on the inside makes the cube a lot more controllable. So while you can use a more slick lube on the inside, I very highly recommend using something that's heavier. Once we've put those drops in the torpedo, we can assemble the rest of the cube minus the center caps. All right, so the next step is we're gonna wanna find the tensions that are perfect for us. So you can go ahead, take the cube, and start doing a repetitive move, such as R-U-R prime U prime. I can't say that name on YouTube, but here's it kind of inversed. And for me, these tensions are already pretty perfect. They come pretty good from the factory on most cubes, but I've noticed for like a lot of Shang Shao cubes, they come really loose. So if your pieces are kind of catching on each other, you're gonna wanna tighten the cube. But if you're having trouble turning the cube really fast, then you're gonna wanna probably loosen the cube. And I always take the cube, take my screwdriver, and whatever move I'm gonna do, tighten or loosen, I just move it 45 degrees, test it out again, and then repeat. And you're gonna do that on all sides until you have the perfect tensions. After you have the perfect tensions, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take all your center caps and just kind of pop them right back into place. Just like that. And then the final step, we're gonna take our more quick lube. So for me, the Speed Cube Shop Martian. I'm gonna unscrew the top. Um, we're gonna take the cube and within these little holes, you're gonna spread the piece just a little bit, put one drop in the top, flip it, kind of spread it again, put one drop in the bottom. No more than this to start but we're just gonna kind of feel out the cube and see how it is. So you're gonna take your cube and start working in the loop. So for me, I just do a repetitive move like this. Kind of do this on all sides to get it all worked in. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna do three sides here. The loop should be spread pretty thoroughly now. And you should be perfect, but if your cube is still making a lot of noise, or it just doesn't feel fast enough, you can go ahead and put one more drop straight in the top of the cube. Give this a second to settle in and then repeat the process. So three drops of Speedy Lube was perfect for me. Repeat this process until you have the perfect cube. This RS3 V5 is set up perfectly to my preference now. However, if you still don't feel like something's right in your cube, go ahead, restart this video, and redo the entire process. Trust me, it's worth it getting the perfect cube. If you guys have any questions on any of this, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I always respond to every single comment. We'll figure out a solution to your issues. But with that being said, appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.